Thank you for joining us this morning. What prior experiences, either personal or professional, will help you serve as a representative? Um, I have a great deal of um, uh, private business background. Spent the majority of my life in business for myself, and that's one of the things that I'd like to bring um, to the house. I also have um, a, a great deal of my work is in nonprofit work, and so I, I have sort of a combination of um, understanding uh, true for-profit business, but I also have quite a bit of experience working in more of the charitable sort of work. Why did you decide to run for state representative? Um, I believe that uh, I, I'm in West Central Minnesota, out in the Princeburg. I live in Princeburg, and um, I wanted to make sure that we had good, solid, proper representation um, for my district bringing it here to St. Paul. Can you tell us a little bit more about your district and what you're looking forward to most in serving your constituents? Sure. Uh, I have kind of a, a, a long district. I have uh, um, almost three full counties plus four townships and another. And in between my two farthest towns, Appleton and um, Fairfax, is about 93, 94 miles. And so I have quite a distance to travel. And as you might imagine, um, quite a different subset of people. Now it is, m it is very agricultural throughout. Uh, my biggest town is Montevideo, um, 5,500 people I believe, down to my smallest is maybe a couple hundred people, Watson maybe is 100 people. Uh, most of them are smaller towns. I'm a person that loves to be around people and so what I'm looking forward to most is engaging the people in my district, talking to them about what's important to them, um, what their desires are, uh, um, you know, their personal successes. I just like getting to know people and building those relationships and so that's probably what I'm looking forward to most. If you could offer up the first bill at the session, what would that bill be? One of the challenges of West Central Minnesota is that the towns are declining in population and, and, and job opportunities. They're doing okay. I mean, we're, we're not a poor community, but that's the challenge that we have. And um, one specific town in my district, Appleton, had a prison that was open for many years and it's been closed down for four years. It was its primary source of labor. And that town is hurting so bad. And um, I don't think there's going to be a better example of how we can turn one of my towns around quicker than if we get that Appleton prison open. And so what I'm going to pursue is, is how we, the opportunities that we have to be able to populate that prison and bring very solid um, employment back to my district. What book or movie have you recently read or seen would you recommend and why? I, I think it isn't a new, it isn't a recent movie, but it's what's coming to my mind. Um, as we came down the stretch during the, during the campaign, I watched the movie Lincoln perhaps four or five times. It was the way that I'd kind of bring myself down. And um, uh, Abraham Lincoln was very inspiring to me, and I'm sort of a Civil War buff. And I think that there are similarities in our country right now to that. Not the same, but there are some similarities, and I think there's some truths from the Civil War area that speak to us. And the convictions that Abraham Lincoln had are, are really inspiring to me. And so um, for people that are feeling challenged by what's going on in our world or um, nervous about maybe the direction our country is going, um, I encourage people to watch that movie.